What up channel, it's 4Play. This is Plaza Hardpoint, back to doing commentaries. Feels so good to be back on YouTube, talk to my channel, my subscribers, my followers, my everything. Um, yeah, this gameplay is actually not the best gameplay. I think I go 23 and one or 23 and two. The gameplay is against kids that really aren't that good um, on league play. But it's funny because I get a turret, right? And I move the sentry gun all the way like, to each hard point. I just found it funny. And I needed a quick gameplay to go ahead and talk about. I'm kind of sick right now, so bear with me. I don't know who gets sick in the spring slash summer. I, it might have been from traveling, all these little weird old people sitting next to me, just coughing and their little napkins, getting me sick. Keep your germs to yourself. But I'm not, like, deathly sick to where, like, I can't uh, move and I'm laying in bed. <laughs> but I'm, like, sick to where I just sound like a complete weirdo and a sick person. So in this commentary, I wanted to talk about the Envy Curse. A lot of people are talking about it because... If you guys watched UMG, Envious plays second again, um, and I want to talk about how, to me, it's not a curse. It shows consistency, and in my next commentary, this is something that a lot of you amateur players are going to like. Um, someone just left me a comment on my last video that said, hey, 4Play, how come you went from being such a dominant player and pro to being on a team with average players? And I want to do a commentary about why I did that and why I didn't team with other pros. And um, in the next commentary, I'm going to break that down because I'm actually one of the biggest AM supporters because I think a lot of people forget that AMs are just like pros. Just maybe they haven't caught their break. There's a lot of skilled players out there, and I hate when people single out players that just haven't got their chance yet. You know, um, granted, obviously, pros are pros for a reason, you know, so I'm not going to sit here and bash that. But, but I'm saying, in a sense, if they're good AMs, they're good AMs. They just might not be on the team. But I'm going to talk about that next. This one is about the Envious Curse. We're completely steamrolling this team. So... You just pay attention to me, not the gameplay, because it's, eh, it's all right. <laughs> but, um, okay, so in 2008, we went to um, Vegas, and that was at the National Championship in Las Vegas. And, okay, so we ended up going to Vegas. The first night we do work, we're in the final, or the winner's finals. We beat Fear, and then there's a continuation to where we have to play over. And on Sunday, we end up losing, and so we got second. Anaheim, the exact same thing happened. Team Envious gets second again. 2010 um we end up getting first but um this commentary is basically about like land events like um the the major land events in 2010 we did win the national championship for xbox but it wasn't like a major thing um in comparison to some of the events now so 2011 providence same thing second place cod championships they get second place and umg they get second place so even when i was on the team um we got second place and now they're still getting second place and a lot of people are talking about it like wow envy can't do this or that they're never gonna win and to me it just shows a lot of consistency inside gaming and um i kind of got into it with a kid on twitter not really got into it but he, his argument was i would hate to go to an event and always play second i would love to go to an event and always play second because that shows consistency granted it's not like the super bowl but money is money, number one. Number two, be thankful because we're all playing video games. You know what I mean? So we're making money off of that. And then number three, my biggest point is being consistent inside gaming is what makes your team become a, a legacy and not just kind of just another team. You know, like people love Optic because of the success they had in MW3 because they didn't lose. People love Envy because of the longevity. Um, people love Fear because of the same reason. So I don't really view it as a curse. And I kind of want to say one more thing. All those dudes, when they do win event, an event, and yes, they will win an event. Um, I, I don't know when it'll happen, but eventually Envious will win another event um, and not play second. But that's only going to feel so much better. I know in 2010 when we ended up winning that Xbox Nats or whatever, I, it was like a monkey lifted off my back, if that's the saying. I, I don't even like that saying because that doesn't even make sense to me. Like, who has a monkey on their back anyway? I mean, like... It was like a weight off your shoulders. Let's do that one. Weight off your shoulders because nobody likes that weight on your shoulders, right? <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, I hope you guys kind of see where I'm coming from in this commentary. And hopefully you can look at the envious quote unquote curse as something that's more of a consistency based thing. Like, wow, envious is really consistent, constantly placing second, constantly in the money and constantly just doing work. You know that um, 
I actually tweeted at Moho yesterday when he was like, wow, I don't know what I'm going to do if I see NBS play second one more time. And then again, that's the same, like, same scenario, you know. I tweeted back and said, just say, damn, they're a really consistent team. Because that's really all it comes down to at the end of the day is them being consistent. And I think building a, a loyal fan base. If you're an Envious fan, you know Envious is going to get second place, so get ready. Um, and at least top two is better than not there. Or, you know, um, a lot of people have a lot to say when they're not at the event or when they're not actually doing anything like that. And I guess that's really going to wrap it up. So. This is four play. This is a quick commentary. I hope you guys didn't mind this one. Bear with me on it. Little league play action. I'm going to upload some really good stuff this week for you. Really excited to get back on the grind. As always, keep dominating your game. This is four play from the four play gang. A little bit of Team Envious. Icons Black. You guys are the best. Peace. What up, four play gang? I hope that you guys enjoyed that commentary. Gameplay was a little eh. You know, just because it's league play, not as competitive as scrims and stuff. But as always, favorite, comment, like, subscribe. Get at me on Twitter. And keep doing your thing. If you guys are finding yourself a little bit bored with the game, maybe take a break. A couple days is all you really need to get back into it. A bunch of events are coming up. MLG Anaheim's right around the corner. Get your teams ready and get out to them. Until next time, take care.